Okay, so this is what we're going to be using right now. Bali hook with a three ounce weight in the front so that he can swim like if it's alive and we can throw like around seven, eight knots. Strike morning number one. Are you going to get me to go? Okay, what's up everybody? So uh, today we're on board of Pamela or our Hydro Sport. We're gonna be, uh, actually we're gonna be fishing for striped marlin. Today we, we're, we're with David, you guys know David already, but today uh, we're gonna be teaching Ileana. Ileana, she's from Cabo San Lucas, and she really wants to learn how to fish, so we're gonna be taking her fishing. Hopefully we're gonna be going towards like where there's a lot of marlin right now. We're gonna try to release at least five marlins. So fingers crossed and we get to do it. And uh, we're with Captain Felipe. Captain Felipe, I don't know what he's doing over there, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, we'll be right back with some action. Okay, so we just got to the designated, well, the area we want to fish. We just got to uh, where the water temperature is about 73 degrees right now. The water is looking nice and beautiful and blue. Uh, Felipe is setting up a couple of, we're going to be setting up a few lures. Uh, some of our favorite lures, we're going to be using a downrigger with a, with a dredge, where, uh, so that he can actually tease the fish. It looks like a school of, uh, we're going to be using some fish and squid on the teaser on the dredge and that attracts the marlin it makes them go after it and then we're going to be using a few uh, lures four lures two uh soda bait and, and the dredge that's what we're going to be using right now to attract the marlin yep. that way it's not on our face when we go through there yeah that's where we have all the lures for the for marlins that's the marlin bag and there's a weight too look there it is. <laughs> okay so so the real reason why we're out here right now is because it's been great for the last two weeks water temperatures have uh, actually climbed up in um, the water well, not not right really riding short but uh, out here like uh, we're uh, we are about like uh 15 miles off from shore right now and the water is really nice and blue we're about 73 degrees and we've been doing great with striped marlins striped marlins are starting to come uh to come up from the south they're making the run up following the water the, the hot water temperatures and lately we've been doing great with uh with a lot of striped marlins in shore we're doing great as well with like a lot of spanish macro groupers uh what's it called cubet or snappers and also some uh, rooster fish big rooster fish are going to start coming in so in the upcoming weeks we're going to be uh, filming uh, rooster fish uh, trips we love going for rooster fish also we're going to start doing uh, uh, spear fishing we're going to start harpooning fish too uh, Felipe San Julio he's been with us uh, for a long time and he loves spear fishing so he's gonna be our uh, professional guide. He's gonna be guiding people to go spear fishing. So stay, keep keep on looking at our videos so that you guys can see how we're doing with uh, with all these other updates. Okay, so we just found this uh, huge school of uh, porpoises, but they're not the right ones. These ones are the ones with the spots. They're dark gray with a lot of spots, and they usually don't have a lot of uh, tuna like we usually like to look for. 
So when we see a big, a huge, huge uh, school of tu porpoises like right now, we always run towards it and see if we can find some tuna. Unfortunately, these are not the ones that we they usually attract us the tunas. Usually, the, the our favorite one, the the, the dolphins that I, that actually get us a lot of tunas, are the the spinner ones. Once we find the spinner uh, dolphins, we it's a for sure thing that we're gonna catch a bunch of tuna. We, we got excited and we thought we were going to find a lot of tuna today uh, with these porpoises. But once we got close to them, we, I think we're, we're going to be, we're going to just keep going. But it's a good sign that they're coming in already because the water temperature is right. And now we're starting to get a lot of uh, life action out here in, uh, in the ocean, close to, close to our shore. Life fish. Right here, right here, right here. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, Arturo Carnada, bay, bay. Big fly. So it Hey, but he got it released. It doesn't count. <laughs> no, I saw it. You know why? Because he was wrapped around the bill. Yes. He didn't eat it. He, 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 no, es que le pegó, güey. Yo miré que le pegó, no se lo comió, lo traía nomás enredado. Sí. Lo tenía enredado, tú le jalaste. So we just had a strike right now. We got all excited, it was fun. We got to see the marlin just boom, it hit the lure. And to me, it looked like the, the lure and the line were just wrapped around the bill. And as soon as David started reeling in, they start shaking their head and they, that, that, I, that's, I'm assuming that that's why he got off, because he wouldn't really hook it. Hey, se te fue, man. No lo ansoleaste bien, güey. ¿Para qué se lo da si no está bien ensoleado? Mira si es Marlin ese. Ese sí es Marlin. Está brinqui, Mira. Yeah, we're gonna troll through there. <laughs> so we're, we're trolling right now. There's a lot of marlins around. We're trolling around. Okay, we're trolling in between seven, six and seven knots. That's how fast we're going. Water temperature is about 73 degrees. We have nothing but a big, uh, well, medium size. Medium sized lures, that's what we're using. A couple of uh, sewed up uh, ballyhoos. And we have some light bait ready to go. And David is ready with a fly for striped marlins as well. So we should catch one. This is Pero se siente dif se siente diferente. No se ensoleó, güey, si le fui poniendo presión se debería haber ensoleado. Estaba chico, era un doradito a lo mejor. Aquí hay dorados ahorita, wey. Something was striking this thing, but I missed it. I didn't hook it. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using right now. Bali hook with a three ounce weight in the front so that it can swim like if it's alive. And we can throw like around seven, eight knots.
Eso es, sí, bájale. Uno avanza, una, una, una máquina nomás. Busca, guys. en el jefe el cinto, pon el cinto mejor, chupón no, cinto, neutro David, neutro, sácalo para que te cordelía más a gusto, están ahí wey, ahí están en la, en la bolsa, ahí nomás levanta ya que la más bien vea ya casi llega al, al, a la embarcación so the fish went straight down uh, down the boat and Felipe got it uh, under the, the, the engine and then to the other side Now she's fighting the margin again. Right at the bow. Ileana está agarrando el primer Marlin. Su primer marlincito.
They're in the little uh, little box. So these Marlins been doing uh, circles, small circles like that. Usually that's the behavior that yellowfin tuna da do. But these Marlins been doing it. You're gonna see how it's just gonna turn right now. The good thing is that he, every single time he turns, we go. It goes farther up. Liana got tired now, Felipe is uh, taking over. One hour later. Right, Marley number one. Dale, Felipe. Ponte ahí. Dale, pues. Are you going to get it, let it go? Okay, let it go that way. That way? Yeah, okay. Si. Que le dé agua o que lo aviente nomás. Que lo aviente, no? Si, échalo. Son de los que se le pegan. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good. Okay. Hold on, let me give it, give it to the ground. Let it go. What's up? He put the gloves. Okay. So that's stripe marlin number one. Si sí, puede, sí. Ya no más cuidado porque está a morder, eh. Suéltalo, ponlo para abajo, tiene que agarrar agüita. Así, ahí aviéntale el pico para allá. Una, dos. Sí. There you go, there you go. Vámonos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so far we just released the striped marlin. He was awesome. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of marlins today. They're they're being everywhere, like jumping instead of just uh, cruising along the, the top of the water. And it's been weird. We got a couple of strikes behind, and they didn't really get hooked. And uh, on this last one, he went after a, a soda bait. Felipe got to hook it and, he, and Ileana got to actually fight it for a while and we finally just released it. So, so far we already caught one. Let's see. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Everybody in the world die Please Lord give me a sign A sign For a while uh, So far it's been like we have seen a lot a lot of striped marlins everywhere just jumping around I was I was saying a little bit earlier that they're not staying on top of the water Usually we find like last time I was here We found five right on top of the water just uh, going along we got there, we saw them, we pitched the bait, and then we actually hooked two of them. Today we have not seen any marlins like that, it's been a little bit different. Uh, but so far we got Ileana fighting a, a nice one for, for about 45 minutes. She's a tough girl, uh, I have to give it to her. I give her a lot of credit because she did try really hard and she did pretty good. She started, she have never ever ever got been fishing before. And she learned quick, she adjusts, she started running in circles around the boat and she did pretty good. So far, we only caught one today. We were hoping for five. We came out here for five. 
We got to see them. We didn't get to catch all of them, but uh, at least we got to release properly release one, and uh, and we got this girl on, uh, on her first morning ever. So we had a great time overall, and I hope you guys really like this video. If you guys do, please make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button. Let us know what you guys would like us to go pitch for, on what type of uh, tutorials you guys would like us to actually uh, uh, to film, so that you guys can learn a little bit of how we we actually fish there's a lot of ways to fish but the way we fish it, it's been pretty good pretty good we always well we have a pretty high success rate so i think we're doing good thank you very much for watching arturo chacon tag i was sport fishing down here in cabo san lucas with captain felipe uh david and liliana